Welcome back to our first lecture of statistics. So let's talk about averages in this video. Averages um, is kind of a summary term for a lot of different things. Um, most people mean the arithmetic mean. So the mean value um, is what most of you would naturally calculate. You add up all the numbers. So if I got a die and I got these numbers 5, 2, 6, 6, 1. I add them all up, that's 20, and divide by the number of goes I had by 5. So the average, the arithmetic mean, is 4. I can do it in this way, uh, just described, yeah, add the numbers, divide by n. Another option is if I have everything is in assembled data, I um, multiply the absolute frequency with the uh, um, AJs with my outcome, or I use uh, and normalize it by n obviously, or I use the relative frequency HJ times my outcome AJ. Okay, simple example here, have a look at it, mean value is 6. And you can already see what happens when we've got outliers like the 20, you know, it moves our mean value away from the other data points. Okay, here you go, temperatures, please calculate the, the arithmetic mean. Excellent, so add it all up, divide by 3, 26 degrees. That was easy. Um, try this one, determine the mean gender. Did you realize? Yeah, the mean is not suitable for nominal data, so obviously, yeah, there's no mean gender. Doesn't make sense. We could talk about relative frequencies, but uh, mean doesn't make sense. If you want to do it on Excel, use the average command in MATLAB. It's called mean. Easy. Um, sometimes we also look at something different called the median. Um, it's an interesting one and it's quite often used because it's a bit more stable with respect to outliers. Uh, basically, um, we we like it gives back the outcome um, that has like fifty percent of small outcomes and fifty percent of large outcomes either side. So what you do, you order all your data in ascending order, and then take the middle element. If there's an even number, then you take the um, the mean value of the two middle elements. So in this case, 2566, an example, it's already in ascending order, don't need to do anything. It's an even number, so I calculate the mean of 5 and 6, that's 5.5, that's the median. And a slightly more elaborate example, like the one before, same data. Um, if I order it, um, the order is 1, 1, 2, 20. I calculate the mean of those two, 1.5. And you see the median is closer to where, you know, the most the data lies. It's not influenced by the outlier 20. Okay, try and calculate the median for this temperature sample. Perfect, yep. 23 degrees we have to order so 20, 21 is the smallest then comes 22 24 so it's the mean value of those two great median in excel is median in matlab also median easy um, very rarely used but also interesting is the mode basically just the outcome with the highest absolute frequency. So 
um, if the outcomes are 5, 2, 6, 6, then we've got 2 times the outcome of 6, more often than any other number, so our mode is 6, as simple as that. It exists in MATLAB as well as mode. If we have a large data set, like, like here, it seems to follow a nice distribution as well, and we compare it, then we see there's the mode in green. Yeah, this is the mode. Um, basically highest frequency, so this green bar is just the one that has the largest number of data points. Then we've got the median in orange, and we've got the mean in red. So the, all those three measures have like slightly different properties, and we can choose them according to our needs. There's one last one I want to talk about. Um, it has like a specific purpose and that's the geometric mean. Basically, we only use it if we've got multiplicative data. And what we do is we multiply our data points and then take the nth root. Um, why would we do that? Let's look at an example. I've got a table here for the years 2014 to 2018, um, we get turnover numbers. So turnover is 2, 2.4, and so on, up to 3.1. We can each year determine an increase. Basically, what we calculate, this is the current turnover divided by the turnover of last year. So 2.4 divided by 2. Yeah. So I would say 20% increase would be in the, in the news. The week after we get almost 21% increase. Then we drop 7% down. And then we've got another 15% increase. Um, if we want to calculate like a mean, an average increase over the years. It doesn't make sense here to use any of the averages that we had before because um, these increases, they're always ratios, they're multi multiplicative. So if we calculate the geometric mean, I've just done this in this example, we get 1.116 and that would be the mean growth every year. We can see that if we start with the initial turnover of 2 yeah, and we say we've got this increase 4 times so one let's say what is it 11.6 percent increase year by year steadily we have to multiply them, so to the power of 4, then we get 3.1, which is exactly the turnover in the year 2018. So with ratios and increases, we use the geometric mean. Just have a quick go at it, so you remember, calculated for this small data set here. Exactly. So multiply the numbers, three numbers, so third root and Excel, uh, result is two. Excel has the function GeoMean and MATLAB, it's called GeoMean as well. Brilliant.